When you think about the most important applications on your system, the first two things that you install when you have a brand new machine. For me, it's my password manager, Bitwarden, and then it's my note-taking app. Now, my note-taking app has gone through some transitions. I've tried several different options out there. Some of them are completely self-hosted. Some of them are partially hosted on servers and you sync them. And then some of them are cloud-based. The one that I've been using most recently is Obsidian. Before that, it was Standard Notes. And before that, it was Joplin. And each one kind of has its pluses and minuses. For me, when I look at what I need to do with a note-taking app, Standard Notes was probably my favorite. But then I saw another player enter the arena. And this got really interesting because... What if you could take all the features that Obsidian had with the ability to link notes together? That's really its big plus. And maybe the effortless connection and the clean interface of standard notes, and you were to merge those together. And then maybe the privacy and end-to-end -end encryption of standard notes, and also the open source portion of it, and maybe the seamless simplicity of Apple Notes, and you were to mix all of that into a bowl, what would you get? And that's what I want to talk to you about today because that app is Notes Nook. Notes Nook I've been using now for several months and it is by far my favorite app. It not only is completely open source, you can utilize it on every single platform, whether that's Windows, Linux, uh, Mac OS, your Android phone, your Apple phone, all of the above. Maybe you have a mixed environment of everything. Well, you can use this on all of those apps. And the incredible thing about this being open source is you can even self-host it if you want. But what I wanna talk about is what makes Notes Nook such a great option. If you're like me and it's one of the most important apps, this is where I put all of my thoughts, all of my show notes. If I need to remember things to do for a meeting, if I need to jot down notes from a meeting, everything goes into my note-taking app. It's just one of those things, it's like my personal journal. Although I don't use it as a journal per se, that's how important it is to me. And of course you could obviously journal with this. Now, one of the key things with the note-taking app is it has to be end-to-end -end encrypted. And that end-to-end -end encryption has to be something that can be audited because a lot of companies will say, oh yeah, we're end-to-end -end encrypted and portions of it are end-to-end -end encrypted and then portions of it run across servers and you don't really get to see all of that because it's not fully open source app there. But Notes Nook claims zero knowledge end-to-end -end encryption. And it's not just a claim. You can go validate that you're, yourself. Developers can't read your content. Nobody can read your content. It's open source. It's been audited. You don't have to trust them. They prove it. And that's what's fantastic about it. But you also have the power of the linking. So, you know... One of the things that a lot of people, I don't use this feature a lot, but a lot of people like to link their thoughts together within their notes. And that's, the brain mapping is kind of something Obsidian really did first and really well. Um, one of the things I like about Notes Nook is it has that ability to do uh, that note linking uh, just like you can in Obsidian. Also, you know, it has a rich text editor. So some people don't want to use Markdown, but it also supports Markdown. I prefer Markdown. I've become really fast at Markdown. But that rich text editor is what people are familiar with, say, when you go into Apple Notes or you go into OneNote. You've got that, you know, rich text editor with your bold, your italics, your underline, all the icons right there for you to easily edit. And I like that they have that as a default simple interface that you can utilize. And, of course, you can do many more things with that. You can insert tables, checklists, code blocks. Um, you know, it does full math and chemistry formulas in there. It's very, very responsive, even on older devices, which is really important with all of these features. And I mentioned it was cross-platform. You can even self-host this 100% independent from them. So if you don't trust having all that personal information out there, you have that ability to do as well. Now, you can also organize using nested notebooks. You've got a tagging system in there, full text search this is one of the things where Obsidian uh, really wasn't my favorite with the search capabilities. Notes Nook is able to go through my thousand plus notes and able to search for specific words and really pull out the notes that I'm looking for, which is really, really important. 
Again, I mentioned they have a free forever planned, includes end to end encryption, 50 megabytes of monthly storage, and you only pay to unlock and scale their more advanced features. The Essentials and Pro tier gives you much more storage and space, um, and it's very reasonably priced. And did I mention they have a student discount uh, at times as well? So check out for that if you're in college. Um, and one of the coolest features is this thing that I didn't know was a thing called monographs. And I saw the monographs feature in the Notes Nook app, and I was like, hey, what is this thing? I want to check this out. What does it do? So this instantly publishes any note as a secure public web page with a clean URL. And you can password protect that link or set it to self-destruct after one viewing. Now, this is great if you want to share, you know, recipes, you want to share draft documents, you want to collaborate um, and give some access. So you have that power in there as well. And to kind of show the power of this, I actually vibe coded with supervision, don't judge, a new Linux, Windows, Mac OS app. And its purpose is to be a system hardener. The, the, the concept is you run this Python script, install Tekinter first, run this Python script, and it's gonna check for things like open ports. Do you have a firewall enabled? Um, it's going to look for if you have antivirus, especially if you're on Mac OS or Windows, but even Linux it looks and sees if you have Clam AV. It's just kind of a, for IT people who, you know, when people travel, uh, and you work for an employee, they want you to harden the laptops before somebody travels. And this kind of goes through some of those checks and balances. It was more of just a for fun project, but I turned it into a monograph. And so if you've watched this video to this point, congratulations, you're going to get a chance uh, to get the link directly to it. And it's just out there on my GitHub. So you don't technically have to do the monograph version to get the link, but it's cooler that way. It's way cooler. And it also goes to uh, security site, Orion's Guard, that uh, I am starting. So something to check out. Again, all this stuff very much in the beginning uh, kind of elementary phases, but just something fun to play with. So that's it. Notes Nook isn't just a note-taking app. It's got so many more features in it. It's open source. It's a bridge between all of these other apps. It's one of my favorite things that I have used and seen and played with recently. And if you get excited about note-taking apps like I do, you've got to check out Notes Nook, even if you're on Standard Notes, which is fantastic too, by the way. If I didn't have Notes Nook, I'd be back on Standard Notes. I think Standard Notes is amazing. But Notes Nook, to me, is one step even above that. I really like this app, and I really like the features they have. I was very compelled to immediately get a premium version of this. Not that I needed it. It actually stored all my notes without it. I just wanted to support this incredible project. So let me know in the comments below what note-taking app you utilize. If it's Google Notes, if it's Apple Notes, if it's OneNote, please consider moving to something open source and end-to-end -end encrypted. Uh, it will do wonders for your privacy, which even if you're not a believer yet, you all will be eventually, well, soon. I mean, some people are believers already, you're seeing a lot of impacts coming from this idea of, well, I don't care what somebody knows about me. And they're paying the price, literally paying a higher price for things because of it. So start taking back control of your privacy. Note-taking app is definitely something you don't want businesses, governments, everybody else just being able to read at a whim. So that's where Notes Note comes in. Let me know what you think. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. And since you made it this far, you need to know that the password to get into the monogram is monograph, not monogram. I've probably been saying monogram this entire time, haven't I? I don't know. I have to go back. When I'm editing, I'm going to be disappointed in myself. I'm monogram, monograph. Anyways, the password to the monograph is DOS Geek. So link in the show notes. Go there. Check it out. You get the link to the code. You get the link to the site. Let me know your thoughts. Yeah, that's the secret part of this video. And now it's now it's over. For real, it's over now. Bye. Fill your brains.